Samar, formerly named as Western Samar, is a province in the Philippines located on Samar Island in eastern Visayas. Its capital is Catbalogan City. It is bordered by Northern Samar, Eastern Samar, Leyte and the Leyte Gulf, and includes several islands in the Samar Sea. Samar is connected to the island of Leyte via the San Juanico Bridge. In 1768, Leyte and modern Samar was created out of the historical province of Samar. In 1965, northern and eastern Samar were created. Fishing and agriculture are the major economic activities in the province. On the 8th of November 2013, the province was significantly damaged by Typhoon Yolanda, Hayan, particularly at the towns of Basie and Maribit. Etymology. Samar is said to be derived from Samad, the Visayan word for wound or cut, describing the rough physical features of the land which is rugged and deeply dissected by streams. History 2,008 Based on geologic findings, during the Ice Ages or Pleistocene period, 2 million years 8, the islands of Mindoro, Luzon, and Mindanao were connected as one big island through the islands of Samar, Leyte and Bohol. 8550 BC Diggings in Sohotan Caves in Basi, Samar showed stone flake tools dated 8550 BC 1300 Other diggings along the Basi River revealed other stone flakes used until the 13th century. 1543 the explorer Rui Lopez de Villalobos first came to the island and named it Las Ila Filipinas. 1596 Many names, such as Samal, Ibabao, Tandaya, were given to Samar Island prior to the coming of the Spaniards in 1596. The name, Samar, was derived from the local language Samad, meaning, wound, or cut, aptly describing the rough physical features of the island, rugged and deeply dissected by streams. Recent scholars connect the name Samar to the ancient city of Samaria, the capital of the northern kingdom of Israel. The early Datu of Samar, Ibaran of Lawing Town, in the northern part of the island may have a Samarian blood. During the early days of Spanish occupation, Samar was under the jurisdiction of Cebu. Arrival of the first missionaries Jesuits on October 15, 1596, the first Jesuit mission arrived in Tinago, now Dapdap, in Tarangnan. From Tinago, the missionaries Fr. Francisco de Atazo, Bartolome Martes, and Domingo Alonso began teaching catechism healing the sick and spread the Christianity faith into the interior settlements. 1649-1650 on June 1, 1649, the people of Palapag led by Agustin Sumoroy revolted against the decree of Governor General Diego Fajardo requiring able-bodied men from the Visayas for service at the Cavite shipyards. Like fire, the revolt quickly spread the neighboring town in the northern and western coast of Samar and to the nearby provinces of Bicol, Surigao, Cebu, Cumagan and as far as Zamboanga. It was suppressed in 1650 by the combined forces of the Spaniards, Lutaos, and Pampangos. 1735 Samar and Leyte were united into one province with Carigara, in Leyte, as the capital town. 1747 Samar and Leyte were separated for administrative effectiveness. 1762 Complaints from the Jesuits that the division was not working well, thus it was reunited again by the approval from the King of Spain. 1768 Jesuits were expelled in all Spanish dominions. The Franciscans arrived on September 25, 1768 and succeeded the administration of 14 parishes which was under by the spiritual care of the Jesuits for almost 172 years. The remaining three parishes of Giwan, Balangiga and Basi in the south of Samar went under the administration of the Augustinians. 1777 The two provinces were divided for the last time, it was approved in Madrid in 1786 and had been effective in 1799. 1803 
Giwan, Balangiga and Basi were turned over to the Franciscans for the lack of Augustinian priests. Royal decree declares Samar as a province. On August 11, 1841, Queen Isabella II of Spain signed a royal decree declaring Samar as a province. 1900 The Battle of Katubig, April 15 18, 1900, occurred during the Philippine-American War. On April 15, 1900, the Filipino guerrillas launched a surprise attack on a detachment of U.S. 43rd Infantry Regiment, forcing the Americans to abandon Katubig town after the four-day siege. 1901 The Balangiga Massacre occurred during the Philippine-American War. September 28, 1901, the people of Balangiga, Giporlos, Lawan and Quinapondon in eastern Samar surprised and attacked the American forces stationed there, killing 48 American soldiers. To avenge their defeat, American General Jacob H. Smith ordered his men to turn Samar into a howling wilderness. 1910 on April 10, 1910, upon the papal bull of Pope Pius X separated the islands of Samar and Leyte from the Diocese of Cebu and erected the Diocese of Calbayog comprising both islands. Pablo Singzon de Anuncacion was named first bishop and consecrated on June 12, 1910. 1941 The invasion by the Japanese via fighter and bomber planes 1941–1942 Filipino troops of the 91st Infantry Division, Philippine Commonwealth Army, and USAFFE under the Visayan Mindanao Force were established, but all fell to the invading Japanese forces. The general headquarters in Samar also fell to the Japanese. This resulted in the defeat of the Filipino troops of the USAFFE 91st Division. 1942 the occupying Imperial Japanese forces arrived in the province of Samar. 1942 The established of the 3rd Samar Company of the Philippine Constabulary were based at the General Headquarters and Camp Base in Balangiga. 1942-1944 During the occupation, thousands of local Samarinos, men and women, joined guerrilla groups in the province and helped local Filipino troops of the Philippine Commonwealth Army units fight the Japanese Imperial forces which led to the latter's defeat and started the pre-Allied liberation. The 4th, 9th, 93rd, 95th and 96th Infantry Divisions of the Philippine Commonwealth Army were established from January 3, 1942 to June 30, 1946 at the Military General Headquarters and Military Camps. The military unit organization started the anti-Japanese military operations in the province from 1942 to 1945. The 96th Infantry Division of the Philippine Commonwealth Army was founded and established from January 3, 1942 to June 30, 1946 at the Military General Headquarters in the province of Samar. The Philippine Guerrilla Forces or PGF were established from 1942 to 1998 as a guerrilla resistance organization with headquarters in San Andres, Villarreal, Samar. September 18, 1944 Filipino troops of the Constable 9th Samar Company of the Philippine Constabulary were ambushed at Barrio Kansumangay in Balangiga, Eastern Samar was fought against the Imperial Japanese Force. The casualties almost 31 Japanese and two Filipinos killed in action. 1944 The Battle of Samar took place on October 24 as Vice Admiral Takeo Kurita's center force warships clashed with several Allied naval vessels in a collision course. His forces sank escort carrier USS Gambier Bay, minus 73 Cape Verde Escudos, destroyers USS Hull, DD-533, and USS Johnston, DD-557, and escort destroyer USS Samuel B. Roberts, D-413, but at a cost of his cruisers Chikuma, Chokai, and Suzuya. Despite being a tactical victory for the Imperial Japanese Navy, it did not alter the course of the Philippines' campaign. 
October 28, 1944 The established of the 3rd Constabulary Regiment of the Philippine Constabulary were based at the General Headquarters and Camp Base in Balangiga among the provincial companies in Leyte and Samar, Constabulary Battalions, Infantry Battalions and Military Police Battalions. Replaced by PC 9th Samar Company was fought by the Japanese. 1944-1945 Combined U.S. and Philippine Commonwealth military forces, including recognized guerrillas, liberated the province of Samar and defeated Imperial Japanese forces. The local Filipino soldiers, under the USAFFE 91st and the 4th, 9th, 93rd, 95th and 96th Infantry Divisions of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and 9th Constabulary Regiment of the Philippine Constabulary, started the battles in Samar and fought against Japanese troops. 1945 Filipino and Filipino-American soldiers under the 1st Filipino Infantry Regiment of the United States Army began the Battle of Samar and aided the local Filipino soldiers of the Philippine Commonwealth Army 4th, 9th, 93rd, 95th and 96th Infantry Divisions and the Philippine Constabulary 9th Constabulary Regiment. The local Samareño guerrilla resistance and the U.S. Liberation Forces defeated the Japanese liberating the province of Samar. 1965 On June 19, the Philippine Congress along with the three Samar representatives, Eladio T. Balite, 1st District, Fernando R. Veloso, 2nd District, and Felipe J. Abrigo, 3rd District, approved Republic Act No. 4221 dividing the region of Samar into three divisions, Northern Samar, Eastern Samar, and Western Samar. Each region adopted a new capital, Katbalogan, Western Samar, Borongan, Eastern Samar, and Katerman, Northern Samar. 1969 On June 21, under Republic Act No. 5650, Western Samar was renamed Samar with Katbalogan still as the capital. 2013 on November 8, Typhoon Haiyan, locally known as Typhoon Yolanda hit Samar province. More than 300 people perished on the first day it hit the province. 2018 On late June, an misencounter happened between Ware police and the armed forces of the Philippines under the administration of Rodrigo Duterte. The misencounter killed numerous police officials of Ware ethnic origin. Geography Samar Province covers a total area of 6,048.03 square kilometers, 2,335.16 square miles, occupying the central western sections of the Samar Island in the eastern Visayas region. The province is bordered on the north by northern Samar, east by eastern Samar, south by Leyte and the Leyte Gulf, and west by the Samar Sea. Topography Samar Province is hilly, with mountain peaks ranging from 200 to 800 meters (660 to 2,620 feet) high, and narrow strips of lowlands, which tend to lie in coastal peripheries or in the alluvial plains and deltas accompanying large rivers. The largest lowlands are located along the northern coast, extending up to the valleys of Katubig and Katerman rivers. Smaller lowlands in Samar are to be found in the Kalbayog area and on the deltas and small valleys of Gandhara and Ulot rivers. Slopes are generally steep and barren of trees due to deforestation. Runoff waters after heavy rains can provoke flooding in low-lying areas and the erosion of the mountains enlarges the coastal plains of the province. Climate and rainfall Areas near the eastern coast of the province have no dry season, with a pronounced maximum rain period usually occurring from December to January, and are thus open to the northeast monsoon. Municipalities in the southeastern section of the province experience this type of climate. Areas located in the northwestern portion of the province have a more or less evenly distributed rainfall throughout the year. Administrative divisions The province of Samar comprises two congressional districts, 24 municipalities and two component cities. It has a total of 952 barangays. Demographics 
The population of Samar province in the 2015 census was 780,481 people, with a density of 130 inhabitants per square kilometer or 340 inhabitants per square mile. Religion Samar, Western Samar, is predominantly Roman Catholic. The Catholic Hierarchy 2014, states that 95% of its population adhere to Roman Catholicism. Some other Christian believers constitute most of the remainder such as born-again Christians, Iglesia ni Cristo, Baptists, Methodists, Jehovah's Witnesses, Church of Christ of Latter-day Saints and Seventh-day Adventist. Muslims are also present and a few mosques are located within the province. Languages and dialects Residents of Samar are mostly Waray, the sixth largest cultural linguistic group in the country. 90.2% of the household population speaks the Waray Waray language, while 9.8% also speak Cebuano, 8.1% Boholano, 0.07% Tagalog, and 0.5% other languages. There are two types of Waray spoken in the province, Waray Linite Samarnan which is spoken from the southernmost tip of the province up to the municipality of Gandhara and Waray Kalbayog, an intermediary between the Waray of Northern Samar and the Waray of Samar, spoken in Kalbayog City, Santa Margarita, and in some parts of Tagapol and, Santo Niño, Almagro and Matuguanao. Cebuano is spoken in some parts of the 1st District of Samar, mainly in Calbayog City, Almagro, Santo Niño and Tagapulan. English and Chinese languages are also spoken. Former Governors Notable People Proposed Creation of Samar Administrative Region Samar. There is a proposed creation of Samar Administrative Region or Samar, in which Eastern Visayas will be partitioned into two separate regions. Since the creation of Negros Island Region out of the regions of Western Visayas and Central Visayas, non-government organizations, local government units and people from the three Samar Island provinces are now expressing their support and willingness to put the provinces of Samar, Northern Samar and Eastern Samar into one separate administrative region in order to boost its economy, improve and directly provide to its people the government basic and other public services and lower its poverty rate incidence, since Samar Island's three provinces are listed as one of the poorest provinces of the Philippines. References External links Samar Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Media related to Samar province at Wikimedia Commons. Geographic data related to Samar province at OpenStreetMap. Samarnews.com. Based in Catbalogan, it is a source of news and information on Eastern Visayas. Province of Samar. Profile of the Samar province. Local governance performance management system.